So this is a video uh, just to explain our car play. You can see it's hooking up now. So like, normally how a car play will uh, like work is it will uh, like use your Bluetooth to uh, like say the phones there and then all like, use the uh, like a uh, like, hotspot on your uh, like, phone to uh, get a, a car play working. It doesn't matter if it's uh, one of our head units or your factory head unit in your car. Car plays all the same. So you can see here there isn't any a uh, cable plugged into my like, iPhone. If you are using a lot of them have a wired car play, which uh, which like means is like as soon as you plug your phone into the correct port on your car, it'll uh, bring this up. So that's called like wired car play, like a lot of like, Factory cars still have that, so you got to uh, like sort of plug your phone to the correct port, and that'll come up. Our uh, wireless car play, uh, like all our head units like have that. It just means there's no wired, and it uses like Bluetooth to go. Uh, hey, my like, phone's here. Try and open the uh, like, hotspot on here. If I click this, it'll say like enabling like Wi-Fi will disconnect a car play because it's using my like phone's hotspot. So that's how it like, works to connect. Car playing in like general is always going to be the same. This video is just going to give you a bit of an overview of like how like it works. It will change a little bit depending on your screen size. So if you've got a square screen or like a long one like this or a tall skinny one, it's going to change a bit. But like basically like what you have on the side here is you've got a time, you've got your like signal 4G, you've got your uh, battery, and then you've got the free last apps you've used. Uh, then you've got the uh, like mode it's in, like focus or whatever. And then you've got the display button so if i click this here it will uh, take me through uh, the app page or the home screen so those are the two we can see and these are the last three uh, apps we've used now the, the main thing you're going to be using uh, like carplay for is uh, sort of phone calls so uh, that's when you can say like hey siri call mum or whatever you want to say and it's going to call it's going to call your mum I don't want to do that. You can see Siri came up then. CarPlay's been designed that it doesn't want you to be using uh, buttons or touching this. So uh, I want you to talk. So, hey, I won't say uh, the name as it will uh, pop up, but a uh, call mum and it would call your mum. It would uh, pop up on here. Or, hey, send text message to John. Uh, what do you want to say? Hey, John, I'll be there soon. Now, uh, send. So that's how you do your uh, phone and your text messages two really common ones you'll like I'll also find on here that if you are using things like WeChat or uh, WhatsApp or like Zoom some extra messages can come in you can use those as well normally it'll send a message yeah, or make it it'll just show other ones that have happened in the drive it, it won't like show them all so there's a little bit of like a limitation there so you can see all the messages are coming in here there's a few all right yeah so that's the like messages on the phone to cover that your like, next thing will be like your music so this is like Apple Apple music's on there i use spotify so obviously like spotify comes up now you can't actually sort of uh, like sort of type like song and you have to say hey siri but you'd say hey play blah 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 and it would like play it it would use your uh, last i uh, use like music so that's like basically how you cover your like sort of music skip on your steering wheel and your like, volume will control your skip and volume again doesn't matter the car carplay is always the same carplay does change sometimes when they do update it so this could this could go a date but we'll sort of try and update it as we can so we've covered calls and texts I like music and a podcast and then your third for sort of like main thing is going to be navigation so by default if you say hey blah blah uh, directions here or hey blah blah find me a coffee shop nearby it's going to use like apple maps which is like fine if you are happy using apple maps i don't i don't know, love apple maps i think a google maps are better so you can have google maps on your phone and you can use it it just means you can't say hey blah blah you'd have to actually come into here and click like the, like the microphone button because uh, like apple obviously wants you using apple a uh, like map so that's where it defaults to and then in terms of navigation you can put other ones on so some people like to use Waze as well and some other ones can come up now there's also a good like radio app here so if you want to keep uh, like, everything happening in carplay and you, and you don't have to change like, the radio you can and there's obviously like, uh, so a triple j has its own one uh, there's a part in one there so not all other apps on your phone will come up on here they'll they'll only come up if the app company the developer has developed uh, the carplay part of it and then they can only give you like limited uh, like access so because this is supposed to be distraction free so yeah that about covers it for uh, like what you can do on here there's not too much all you can do that you can do if you use the back button on your steering wheels it should be able to like take you back then on your phone what you have is you have uh, so like under general you've got carplay and it'll show you the different cars that are hooked to carplay and if i go into one it just shows you that you have carplay on for this and you can like customize it so you can get rid of uh, like, like some of the uh, apps that like show if you don't want them coming up on a uh, carplay if it's too many or you can also change the uh, like, order that you're in so you can see it goes phone uh, music like maps there 
So for example, if I use Google Maps all the time, I will want to put that up probably here. And because I use Spotify for music, you can put that up here. So you can just put up the things you actually uh, like use. Car, you'll see, I'll show you car in a second, actually takes you back to car. Phone, Google Maps, Spotify, Messages. Those are, are like, the main ones I, I like use. So when I, I like, next connect up, those will come as the first I like I sort of four. They do come up over here anyway. So if you push on car here, it actually will just take you back to your, the other, sorry, there it is, I like exit on here. That takes you back to the home screen on your head unit or on, on like our head unit, it won't matter. But that, that basically sums it up and that is CarPlay. Then sometimes you have certain things, like if I go into settings in here, volume. You can change navigation volume with your car's controls, but only when navigation is speaking. So, you can change navigation. Uh, so I normally feel like volume and stuff, the thing has to be happening and then you adjust the volume and it should Alex uh, like set it. So Google Maps, that's how you set the navigation volume. This is basically just a quick overview of how it all works, uh, like CarPlay. We could obviously like, dive into uh, like, each uh, like, app a bit more, which we uh, like, might do in, in like following videos. For example, we could be like, okay, what can you actually change on Google Maps on CarPlay? But yep, hopefully that helps a few people out. Cheers.